Today's video, we will discuss the ethics of consent, but specifically consent for minors. Now, legally, a minor is considered any person under the age of 18. Now, the laws of parental consent when it comes to treatment are state regulated and can vary. In some states, they, uh, the age of consent for treatment for minors can go as low as 13 or 12 for certain procedures and treatments. Parental consent on treatment is absolutely necessary, except in emergencies, even if this goes against religious belief. For example, if a person comes in under the age of 18 in an emergency situation and needs an immediate blood transfusion, even though it may be known that this individual, who's a minor, may be a Jehovah's Witness, and it is known that this is against their religion, the blood transfusion should still be performed. No parental consent is necessary if a person is emancipated, and emancipated in this sense means they are either married, they are in the military, or they are self-supporting and have a job which they are not required for any financial assistance from their parents. There are some exceptions to required parental consent, and this is a person who is asking about contraceptives, a person seeking treatment for addiction, and a person in an emergency or traumatic situation. And the mnemonic that goes along with these three exceptions is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So just remember, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And these are the basic ethical principles with the consent for minors in medicine.